Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this discussion, we are going to look at modular arithmetic. Here, we shall also be considering the use of Casio FX991 ES or the Casio FX991 ES Plus to enable you perform modular arithmetic. Oh yes, 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 yes. Some of you might be wondering if that is possible. Yes, there are quite a number of tricks that you can use your calculator to perform modular arithmetic. So let's begin. But before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like, and share this video. What is modular arithmetic? Modular arithmetic is a system of arithmetic for integers where numbers wrap around when reaching a certain value called the modulus. Now, let's look at modular arithmetic regarding whole numbers. With regards to whole numbers, it is an arithmetic which deals with whole numbers where the numbers are replaced by remainders after division by a fixed number of course called the modulus examples 1 23 in mode 12 is simply equal to 11 why when you divide 23 by 12 what do you get yes you get 1 remainder 11 so 23 in mode 12 is simply equal to 11 number 2 34 mode 13 34 mod 13 is simply equal to 8. Why? When you divide 34 by 13, you get 2 remainder 8. Now, let's look at 12 mod 5. Now, if I have 5 boxes, as you can see, or 5 cubes, as you can see on the screen, what do I do? The best thing to do this experimentally is to simply add 5 cubes to itself until you arrive at a point where the remainder is observed. So you see that 5 plus another 5 and then plus 2 will give you 12. Now, you realize that the last piece we have here or well, the last set of cubes we have here isn't up to 5. So, our answer for 12 mode 5 is simply going to be equal to 2. In other words, when I divide 12 by 5, I get 2, remainder 2. So, the remainder 2 is the answer for that particular operation. Now, let's look at some steps when calculator use is involved. Step number one, press the mode key. Please, in this particular presentation or at this particular segment, we are only looking at positive or whole numbers. So you press the mode key. And here, this is the mode key as you can see right here. What is being circled here. And when you press the mode key, what happens? Alright? Another option follows. And at that place, you select the base N. This is as shown on the screen. So option 4 is simply base N. Alright. So you select that particular option by pressing the number 4. And that will give you or that will change it to the mode in base N. By default, the base it will arrive at will simply be in base 10 which is decimal. Then when you do that, this is the display. So you find your Keza here and of course your deck which stands for decimal all right the result of all computations will be displayed below the dec writing next for a mode b just simply type a minus a divided by b times b for example for 7 mode 5 just type 7 minus 7 divided by 5 times 5 all right and when you do that you then press the equal key all right you're going to have a display like this as shown on the screen 7 times 7 divided by 5 times 5 will simply give you 2 try dividing 7 by 5 what do you, what do you get for the remainder you realize that it's simply the number 
Now let's look at some examples and in a practical way with the use of the calculator. So I, or number one, we have 23 in mode 12. So let me introduce the calculator. Let me press the AC key to clear. So the first option or the first step was you press the mode key. And then when you press the mode key, you select option 4, which is base N. And then to look for the answer for this, what do I type? 23 mode 12. How do I type it? So you type 23 minus 23 divided by, then you look at the modulus, which is 12. You then type 12 times 12. What do you get? 11. So in other words, 23 mode 12 is simply equal to 11. Now let's look at the next one, which is 49 in mode 13. Now let me press the AC key to clear it so that I can do a new or I can perform a new operation. So you type 49 minus 49 divided by 13 times 13. What do you get? 10. So in other words, 49 in mode 13 is simply equal to 10. Why? When you divide 49 by 13, what do you get? You get 3, remainder 10. And I told you, for whole numbers, it is a remainder when you divide that particular number by the modulus. Let's go to the third example. 34, mode 11. Let me press the AC key once again. And then I'll type 34 minus 34 divided by 11 11 times 11 what does that give us 1 so in other words when you divide 34 by 11 the remainder is 1 so the result of this operation 34 mode 11 is simply 1 as you can see here remember this only works when you are dealing with whole numbers there is another trick when you are dealing with negative integers but for this please do not use this to perform modular arithmetic involving integers or negative integers okay now let's come to the modular arithmetic regarding negative integers now for negative integers in doing the model of a negative integer it is a first positive integer arrived at when successively adding the modulus to the integer okay in doing the modulus of a negative integer it is a first positive integer arrived at when successively adding the modulus to the integer for example find negative 23 in mode 12 so what we we'll simply do is that we successively add 12 to negative 23 until we arrive at the first positive integer that first positive integer becomes our answer for that particular operation so what do we have negative 23 plus 12 what do we get negative 11 and then negative 11 plus 12 what do we get 1 so we can therefore conclude that negative 23 in mode 12 is simply equal to 1 okay let's use cubes to do this one once again empirically so negative 12 in mode 5 what do we do get your 12 set of cubes arrange first five here second five here and of course the remainder two should be here please i have painted it white and let's try to symbolically use a white to represent that they are negative so what do we do what we do is that we place exactly five set of cubes on the columns of cubes we have all right while taking note of where there will be a remainder so what do we do so if i put the first set of five cubes here we have all of them entirely covered five in all entirely covered then we cover this place again with another set you realize that all the five are also entirely covered 
but when you go to the last what happens we only have two covered and three more remaining now those three more remaining simply represent what we refer to as our answer for this particular operation so thus we can say that negative 12 mod 5 is equal to 3 this is just a practical way of explaining this to children even those in primary they should be able to understand this or in the basic school now let's come to the calculator mode when performing modular arithmetic involving negative integers let's look at the steps number one press the mode key as you can see this is the mode key and number two select the computational option that is option number one that is option number one as you can see here and then for negative a in mode b simply type negative a and then press the equal key that is if a and b are numbers or integers now for example for negative 7 mode 5 simply type negative 7 and then press the equal key okay as you can see here just type negative 7 as you can see here this height to be displayed and then of course press the ac key and press the answer key all right then plus whatever the modulus is in this case you type 5 of course this is the answer key and this is what the ac key ac stands for all clear then now a last step keep pressing the equal key until you arrive at the first positive integer and that becomes your answer so this is the equal sign key just down here this is the particular key i'm referring to all right now let's look at some examples with the use of the calculator when doing modular arithmetic involving negative integers number one negative 23 in mode 12 what do we do let's display our calculator let me press the ac key to clear all this now you have seen that it is in it is still in the base end mode so i'll simply have to press the mode key and bring it back to the computational mode all right so number one just type your negative 23 all right and the next step is that you press equal key what you simply type just appears down there so you then press the ac key now the next thing you do is that you then press the answer key and then plus the modulus which is 12 what do you do you keep pressing the equal sign until the first positive integer appears so you press this what do you have negative 11 that is not positive and again again and now what do you have one so it, it simply means that negative 23 in mode 12 is simply equal to one let's move to the second example so we have negative 49 in mode 18 let's display our calculator once more press the ac key to clear it what do you have negative 49 now then press the equal sign key and then the all clear key to clear it then what do i do you press answer plus the modulus which is 13. so then what do i do i keep pressing the equal sign until i arrive at the first positive integer so what do we have the first one we have negative 36 answer plus it negative we have negative 23 plus another 18 negative 10 plus another 18 positive 3 so negative 49 in mode 18 is simply equal to 3 let's go to the last one which is negative 34 mode 11 let's display our calculator once more so you type negative 34 press the equal sign key and then press the all clear key then once again answer plus the modulus which is 11 then what do I do I keep pressing the equal sign until I arrive at the first positive integer so now this gives us we have negative 23 plus 11 again negative 12 plus 11 again negative 1 then plus the last 11 and that will give us what positive 10 so negative 34 in mode 11 is simply equal to 10 I hope you did enjoy this particular video.
kindly subscribe, like, and share. For our, our returning subscribers, you are welcome back once again.